Morning guys. Hello from Kachwerke. I'm gonna have a quick rant about, what am I saying rant? It's all about compression. Now, there's more than enough tutorials about how to use compression, compression ratios, how to compress different instruments, but I remember about 20 years ago on the home recording forums before the YouTube times and when you got all the information from forums and there was a post and it was a guy essentially moaning about how everything is over compressed nowadays and uh, and that, that it kills uh, transients and it, it kills um, dynamics in a mix and I'll never forget the answer that he was given by one of the uh, guys on the forum and it's always stuck with me and the answer was actually compression retains dynamics and it's very simple dynamics in the song is not just about volume about how loud and quiet certain parts are your ears and your brain actually picks up timber and it knows what certain things sound like it knows the difference between a snare being hit really hard and it being hit softly even if you play it back at exactly the same volume so what compression allows you to do is to play something softly and quietly but still bring it up in volume into a mix and glue it together with the rest of it so unless you overdo your compression obviously compression does not oh <laughs> yeah oh compression does not actually kill your dynamics which is uh, an important thing to remember you use your compression to retain things to bring things back up compressing is not just about squashing down it is actually squashing down in order to bring quieter pieces up and i think this is also uh, brings me to brain fart but it kind of brings me to another subject this idea of heaviness now i've been trying to find a way to do this experiment because i don't believe that this really low tuning is actually any heavier than normal tuning um, because i think what happens is if you listen to the guitar and you're next to the amp absolutely it sounds heavier but once you put it in a mix you've got massive low-end problems so you're probably eking the fucking bejesus out of it anyway which then stops it from really sounding heavy because you are kind of forced to thin it out a bit anyway i uh i've got a new guitar day actually bought a cheaper one and to set it all up and get it all done i actually have it for the first time in a long time i've got a guitar and standard tuning i usually have c a d drop c tuning and I'm doing a, a quick track to illustrate some other things, non-related. But anyway, point is, I realized the pickups that it's got in, the Mesa Boogie that I'm using, the Ampsum that I'm using, um, it really sounds dirty and heavy. So, uh, yeah. And the reason I'm bringing this in now is because it kind of relates to the compression thing in a... In a weird way what audio does is it fools you it tricks you it's kind of like when you're drawing and shading you are tricking the brain into thinking where the light and the dark is you're not actually telling something specific you are you are um, manipulating senses and the same goes with mixing is that when you are mixing you are trying to um, you're trying to illustrate certain things to the brain but your brain actually does a lot of it for you it knows when something is excited and, and heavy it knows when something is softer so as a mixing engineer i suppose your duty is to um, is to make sure that that translates and not overdo it because actually <laughs> you know your brain can do a lot for you anyway that's it don't be scared of compression 
It's cool. Thank you very much.